Hello everybody and welcome back to A-List Party Favors YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how I assemble these ice cream themed cotton candy tubes and much much more. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and watch all of our videos on our page. So let's go ahead and get started. First up we have these Cheeto chip bags for Layla. Aren't they cute? The sweet one for ice cream theme. Then I have some sour punch straws. I showed the last tutorial about how to assemble uh, sour punch straws. So I won't be really going into depth on that in this video. These here are the ice cream tubes for the um, cotton candy. And these are pre-cut already for the um, cotton candy tubes. Then we have some Rice Krispie treats here that have been pre-cut. So I'm gonna do is just fold them and get them prepared for um, assembly. These are how they look before they're two on a page when you print them out. Okay, now I'm going to show you the difference of some chip bags that I printed by mistake. Um, I already had some cardstock in the printer and I forgot to take it out. So this is the cardstock that you see here. And you can see how clear it is. And um, it's kind of heavy. But you can still use cardstock to um, print out your chip bag. So next one is photo paper. You can see that gloss there in the photo paper. It looks very, very crisp and clean. And then the last sheet I'm going to show you now is on regular copy paper. So it all depends on what kind of printer that you have. Me, I have a laser printer, a HP laser printer. So it really doesn't matter what type of paper I use. All of my prints are going to look exceptional because I have a laser printer. There is a difference between laser printers, you have all-in-one printers, and you have inkjet printers as well. So that all determines the quality of how your paper is going to look. I will be doing a tutorial on that later on. Here we have a little quick snippet of how I um, assembled some stylus straws. I'm just running through it really quick because I have a tutorial. If you look at my videos on YouTube, you'll find a tutorial on how I assemble the stylus straws. This thing was very, very cute. I'm just finishing them here. I usually place glue on one side, place the sour straws inside, and then wrap them. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing in the video. I always wrap on the safe line first. Then my greeting and my message to my guests is on the opposite side. Once I do that, I lay it to the side and let it um, sit so that the glue and adhesive can stick and then I glue the ends later on. Okay, the moment that you all have been waiting for, how I assemble these cotton candy tubes. I'm gonna move all of my style punch straws out of the way so that you guys can clearly see how I'm going to assemble these cotton candy tubes. I use eight and a half by 14 legal size sticker paper. Um, I'm exposing the adhesive right now. I'm laying in my cotton candy tools on a flat surface and I'm going to position the label like so on my tubes. Um, I align the labels towards the bottom of the cotton candy tubes because the label is not a perfect rectangle or a square. It is a special shape. So as you turn your, um, t your, your tubes, it's going to align with the shape of the tube. Um, I go a little at a time. I start from the middle and I press down and I press down the right side and I go and I press the left side, right and left. I do that so that I can ensure that it's even on both ends. So as you can see in the video, I'm going very slow, very delicately because it is thicker and I'm making sure that I have a proper and clean crisp assembly on my tubes. I'm going to do another one to show you guys how it looks again. I'm, as you can see here in the video, I'm just cutting off the ends a little bit because I don't want the message and um, the other items that I have on the label to overlap. So I'm making sure that I cut a little bit off the ends so that it can fit properly. So I just lay my label on a flat surface. I place the label in the center and then I'm going to slowly glide and roll the label. As you can see, I'm lining it up to the bottom and I'm just pressing it down. I don't want any bubbles on my label. Now, if you do mess up and you need to lift up the sticker paper, you can, and it will not mess up. That's totally fine. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? Yes. 
so later on in the video i will show you guys how i add the lids to that because i did customize a lid that is four inches for the top part of the cotton candy so here i'm just continually putting the labels on the cotton candy tubes make sure you to go slow so that you don't mess up You're gonna expose the adhesive and go slow from side to side to make sure that everything is laying flat on your cotton candy tubes. I can't wait to see you guys try this. It's so cute. I will be releasing the template on my website if you guys wanna purchase the template and the mock-up to make these two ounce cotton candy tubes. They will be available soon on my website. Okay, here I'm gonna be showing you guys how I think is an effective way to assemble your rice crispy treats what i like to do is because rice crispy treats always come in a dozen i always lay four at a time and then i place a thin layer of glue on one end and a middle strip of the rice crispy tree as you can see in the video i place my um rice crispy treats in the center of that where i made the crease at so i'm laying all of the rice crispy treats down now and then the the safe mark where I added the glue, I'm gonna roll it over to the opposite side of the Rice Krispie Treats, and I'm just gonna form the creases. So I'm just gonna roll the opposite side, add another layer of glue, and I seal it, like so. So I like to lay four at a time, and I'm just gonna quickly close my Rice Krispie Treats before the glue dries, and I do four at a time. So after I do this, I roll them all, and then I apply a thin layer on the opposite end that has no glue, seal it down, to secure that bond and I just hold it down then I do the next four and then I do the next four again I continue this procedure until I have sealed all 12 of my rice kitchen treats and then I lay them down to the side so as you can see I'm taking the hot glue gun applying a thin layer of glue and pressing down my rice crispy treats once I secure all of my Rice Krispie treats and they all have set aside and dried, then I proceed to seal the ends of the Rice Krispie treats. So I just lay another four down. I'm going to apply the glue and place my Rice Krispie treats inside. A thin layer, you do not need much, but you always want to make sure that you lay your Rice Krispie treats directly in the center so that you do not cut the Rice Krispie treats while you're, um, making your zigzag lines at the end. So make sure it's all in the middle, roll it, and set it. As you can see, I'm applying the glue, letting it roll, and I'm gonna put glue on the opposite end. It's not hard at all. It's a technique. If you do it like this, you'll be done in one, two, three. Make sure you don't put a lot of glue. The more glue that you put on there, the longer it's going to take for it to dry. So here I'm just finishing up the rest of the Rice Krispie Treats. Like I said before, I add a little bit of glue on one side. Then I roll them. I make sure I center my Rice Krispie Treats in the middle of the um, items. And then I go ahead and I seal the other end. So I'm placing the Rice Krispie Treats in the middle. Then I'm going to simply roll. See, I'm rolling it there and I'm just gonna fold it over and I'm rolling it making sure the adhesive sticks to the Rice Krispie Treat and then boom here you see my Cricut Cricut cut sorry machine it's cutting my four inch circles for the lids on my cotton candy tubes um, you don't have to create lids for your cotton candy tubes I just thought it'd be a cute little touch to add a label on top so I designed the label on my program and then I went over and added it to the Cree cut um, design space and I um place placed it in design space and added two on there so you just see my machine cutting it out for me so that I can just simply lift it off of the mat and place it onto my tubes Super, super simple. Okay, as you can see here, I'm back to putting on the rest of the stickers on the cotton candy tubes. I place the sticker on at the middle of the graphics. I lay it flat on the tube 
And then I gradually go from side to side, ensuring that there's no bubbles and that it's laying flat. And then I just end my tube. Um, as I said previously, the entire tubes are covered. There's no open spaces, so any design that was on the previous tube, you will not see it. All you will see is your customized label. So I'm just going ahead and um, finish up the rest of the tubes here, placing my label. I line it with the bottom of the tube, and I go from side to side very slow to ensure that it's closed correctly and that it has no bubbles. And I just place it on the side. I do the long end first of the um, tube. So I, the customized label is wrapped first. And then you're going to see me go back and finish them by placing the circular four inch lids on top of the cotton candy tubes. This actually goes by fast. It looks slow on the video, but it actually goes by fast. Um, once you get the hang of it. This will probably be your favorite item to do out of all of them. So I'm just going ahead and finishing all of my cotton candy um, tubes so that I can move on to the next step. So as you can see in the next slide, I'm removing the stickers from my pre-cut mat. And I'm going to simply place them on top of the cotton candy lids. They're very simple. I'm just popping them out, laying them on my arm. Um, mat and I'm just gonna put them all on the lids of the cotton candy like I said um, before this is not a requirement you you don't have to put lids on your cotton candy tubes I just thought it would be a cute little touch so that's why I added the lids um, the size of the lids is a four inch lid so it's a four inch circle um, that I created and I added it to um, the sign space on Cricut and I was able to print two of on a page and my machine cut the circle so that it was a perfect circle on the lids. So I'm just simply assembling now the chip bags. I already folded some of them. And I'm going to show you guys how I just place some glue in the middle. Place the Cheeto Puffs in there. Cheeto Puffs are probably the hardest chips to use to actually assemble. So you have to take your time. Um, I just put the, the puffs inside. I glue one end, hold it down, and then I glue the other end. With the Cheeto Puffs, you have to hold it down with your fingers. If you don't hold it down with your fingers, that sucker will lift right up because they're like full of air. So I just assembled my Cheetos bags. I'm placing them inside, put a little bit of glue to hold it in place, glue one end, hold it down. Then I'm going to add some more glue on the safe line, and I'm going to glue the other end. Um, like I do with any other of my party favors, I like to glue one side down, let it dry, and then I seal the entire bags at the end. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just assembling all of the chip bags, put them to the side, and making sure that everything is shut tightly and it's not going to pop back open because those Cheeto puff bags are full of air. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is the end of our tutorial on these ice cream themed party favors. Here I'm just showing you guys the party favors in natural lighting so you guys can see how everything looks. I'm pulling it out of the box. This is how I package my items when I'm shipping them out to clients. I make sure that everything is covered and secured so that even if it were to rain outside and they left their packages outside, nothing would be tampered with. So we have the cotton candy tubes on the bottom here. They're all nicely wrapped. As you can see, everything is covered. The um, Rice Krispie Treats and then the Cheetos chip bags. I will also include my business cards, my thank you cards. Close the box up, seal it, then add the tracking on there and send it off to UPS or USPS. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and watch all of our videos on our YouTube channel. See you guys next time and thank you.